the year was 1699. High in Castle Phantom, two sworn enemies engaged in mortal combat. But for one valiant hero, the fight would end in a cruel twist of fate. Trapped within an evil spell, powerful enough to endure the passing of centuries. Until the dawn of a new millennium heralds the return of Phantom Cat. Make it this far. Where's Macduff? <coughs> you okay? Oh, yes. I'm fine. It was nothing. Comes with the territory. Just a normal day. We're in the old castle. I've often wondered what it was like. Time to go home. No exploring, eh? Shh. We're here. We might as well take a look around. for 300 years. I think this is the last duke. Doesn't look very happy, does he? Maybe the cleaning lady wasn't coming then either. Yipes! It's almost midnight. Lady. Hi. I hope I didn't. No, no. It happens every day. Yesterday it was a Picasso. Picasso? The painter? What year is this? 
How long have I been incarcerated? This is the 21st century. How does that grab you? Over 300 years. Excuse me? Milady. Uh, call me Tabs. Milady Tabs. I am. Woo! Okay, Lindbergh, relax. This is Lindbergh, and this. Uh, that is Macduff. They're friends. They work with me. I'm a private detective. You will explain that, I feel sure. Can we sit down? Sure. My name is Philippe Lanteric Guerlain de Chanel, Count Givenchy, and Duke of Phantom. Who's a duke? He's not a duke. Dukes don't fall out of photographs over your fireplace. Tabs likes them. Tabs likes anything with flashing white teeth, debonair style, charming smile, who's six feet tall. Especially the six feet tall. It's an honor to meet you, but what were you doing in the portrait? Can I trust you? Oh, yes. And your friends? Absolutely. I need your help, Milady Tabs. The world needs your help. There is great danger lurking. <laughs> May I tell you my story? Please. Over 300 years ago, in this castle, my home, in this very room, at this very hour, I fought the last and bitterest battle of my life. <laughs> I was the last of my family. He was Baron Hugo von Skelton, a madman, twisted by devilish experiments in alchemy set upon the path of evil, determined to rule the world. Victory for him would mean that the last person to oppose him had gone. For me, living the last of my nine lives, defeat would mean oblivion. My crusade against evil finished, and an end to all that was good in the land I was proud to rule. With God's guidance, the battle was going my way. But von Skelter was not alone in my castle. He had brought with him the Crystal of Malevolence. A stone so powerful that it can change worlds. I did not see it until it was too late. <laughs> it was the end. But there was worse to come. Von Skelter wanted from me the Ring of the Phantoms, a ring a thousand years old whose powers had helped my family oppose evil down the ages. He took it from my finger and took it for his own to serve him. And my sword, Touche, which flew to my hand when I called it and had been with me all my nine lives, that too became his. And as the clock struck midnight to herald a new century, Von Skelter played his trump card to freeze me in time in my own castle. Go, Philippe, Duke of Phantom. Go. Go to a place where there is no sight, no sound, no feeling. Perhaps in a hundred years you may be free. Maybe two hundred, maybe three hundred years. Or maybe... never. But, because I am a considerate man, I shall allow you to think, to imagine what I, Baron Hugo von Skelter, will do with your miserable world. Go, damn you. <laughs> you were frozen in there like 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 Han Solo with Star Wars. Pardon? Oh forget it. And now 
You're free? The spell has finally broken. After 300 years? Wow! More than 300 years of von Skelter's tyranny. I can tell you are among the oppressed, the way you dress. Oh, no, not exactly. We were blown up. Blown up? By some fiendish explosive device set by von Skelter's friends, no doubt. No. In fact, we've never heard of Baron von Skelter. But surely... This is now his world. He won the battle. He rules everywhere. Not in this precinct. Metro City has big problems. It's run by mobsters and enforcers, and the boss of all of them is Marmagora, a Black Widow spider many, many times over. She has 3,000 people working for her, and another thousand informers, and she has a police force in her pocket, but no one called Von Skelter. I do not understand. Neither do I. We've got to do some checking. Look, you're safe here. Nobody ever comes to the old castle. It's got bad vibes. Heavy karma? Spooky. Ah, people are fearful of the castle. So anyway, you stay here. We'll go into the city and do some research. See you back here in a couple of hours. Milady, I await your return with impatience. Sure, sure. I'm sorry. I've forgotten your first name. I am Philippe Lontoric Guerlain de Chanel, Count Givenchy, Duke of Phantom. Uh, could we call you just Phantom Cat? <laughs> of course. See you soon, Phantom Cat. See ya. Phantom Cat. Good name. Kisses hands nicely too, doesn't he? Shut it. Phantom Cat. Do you think he's for real? Oh, he's real. Learned about him in school. Great man. Brave, kind, always on the side of justice. Then, just disappeared. Now we know why. Jeepers. This place is quiet. Okay. We want the Almanac for 1700. We're going to help him? Yep. And he's going to help Metro City. He can take on Marmagora. Wow! But first we have to find out why Baron Von Skelter didn't take over after he'd beaten Phantom Cat. We need to know what happened in 1700. The almanac for 1700 is missing. No one's supposed to take him away. There's only one person in the city that can get away with this and no questions asked. Mama Gora. Right. What she wanted for? I don't know, but I have a very bad feeling about it. Maybe she wants to know about Von Skelter, too. That's what I reckon. And if she's interested, then we should all be worried. So we are no nearer the truth. Yes, we are. All the almanacs have electronic tags. If any of them ever go missing, they can be traced. I've tuned this detector to the right wavelength. We switch on, follow the signal, and we find the missing book. And if it's with Marmagora, we'll know the worst. It is alive? Uh, not exactly. We'll teach you about the 21st century as we go along. There is much to learn. We'll teach you. <sighs> if you'll teach me to be a swordsman. It isn't touche, but it'll do for now. And I will teach you, little one. Brill. Pardon me? Eh, uh, excellent. Hmm. It's underground. And that means Marmagora. She's down there? Down there is her home territory. Half the sewers and caverns under Metro City are hers. And somewhere down there is her secret lair. No one's ever found it and lived to tell the tale. Well, uh, good luck. I'll uh, wait up here. Make sure no one follows you. You won't be with us, little one? Macduff doesn't like holes in the ground. But you're a mouse. Sure I'm a mouse. It's just that I don't like holes. You give me the creeps. That is unusual for a mouse. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. No more unusual than him. He can't stand heights. He hates flying. A mouse who hates holes and a pigeon who hates flying. Strange partners. Hey, the best in the world. Yeah. Come, little one. Time to trust me. Uh-oh. Here we go. Is he special or what? All is well, Mouse? Sure. 
Easy peasy. We're close. Next right turn. We should be there. No! Look at that! What is the machine? Dunno. Never seen anything like it. But it can only be Marmagora's. Yes! There she is! <laughs> Crystal of malevolence to pair it with mine. Shall we say February 1700? February, you're making fast. Oh, I think we have him. They have him, gracious one. Ah, yes, yes, we have him. They have him, oh, joyous one. Vile. Yes, scrumptious leader. Shut up. We have him! February 10th, 1700! He is seated! He is ready for the taking! Then take him! Take him now! It's Von Skelter. That's why there's nothing in the history books about him. That's why he never ruled the world. She stole him weeks after your battle. Together, no one could stand in their way. Welcome, Baron Von Skelter. Welcome to the 21st century. You know me, madam. I know you well, Baron. I have selected you to be my partner in the new the Black Widow's partner. Yeah, I am honored, of course, but this cannot happen. You... You are dead. I could not resist one last meeting, Baron. To me, Touche! Welcome, old friend. Ah. What? Anyone anything to add to that? We should summon now! No. You have brought this creature across 300 years. If he cannot deal with a trespassing cat, then you were wrong to bring him, weren't you? You still have the Crystal of Malevolence, I see. It's what she wants, I think. This is all her doing, Duke, not mine. You have my ring, Baron.
shall return to my lair. Find out who the cat really is. He is no ordinary trespasser. Yes, light of my life. Don't push your luck. You're safe! Your friends? Yes! No! Where's McDuff? I'm so sorry, milady. Nothing could be alive in that. Oh, McDuff! Yep! That's twice in two days! How come everybody wants to explode me? Where's the Baron? Here's one bit. He had my ring. It must have been destroyed. This ring? You are the bravest mouse in all Metro City. That good, eh? You were... You were Brill. <laughs> I have my ring, and I have my sword. Now the crusade against Mama Gora can begin. But tonight, we celebrate! Yes. Go ahead. I'll follow. We shall meet again very soon, Black Widow. <laughs>